All right, so today we're gonna to be talking all about white concealers. I'm doing kind of a side-by-side -side comparison to see if this new LA Girl Pro Conceal in the white shade is a dupe for the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in white. The price difference is pretty large on these two products. So if this is dupable, you can save you some money. When I first started my channel, there was no such thing as white concealers, white foundation mixers. It didn't exist. Now there are so many amazing products out on the market that can help if you have light skin or if you just want to adjust the shade of your foundation. If you are new to my channel right now, I have a ton of videos for people with pale skin. Mixing white concealers and white products in with your foundation is a great way to lighten it. So I used one concealer on half of my face and the other concealer on the other half, not just for under my eyes, but also as a foundation mixer. So I do have both of these products all over my face right now. I'm gonna show you guys how they apply and how they wear throughout the day and see if the Kat Von D one is worth the money. So let's read some of the claims on both of these. The Kat Von D one has 0.22 ounces of product and it retails for $26. And the LA Girl concealer has 0.28 ounces and retails for between $2.99 and $3.99. I got this for $2.99 on iKate House. I'll link it down below, but they have awesome deals on cheap makeup and just makeup brands that aren't super popular. They've had this normal concealer out for years now, but they just came out with the white shade and they also came out with three other color correcting shades, I believe. But as soon as I saw they came out with a white one, I literally went on my phone and bought it that second. So obviously quite a big price difference and you also get more product in this. So let's quickly read some of the claims on Kat Von D first. It says it's a rich and creamy concealer with 24 hour wear and instant full coverage. Brightens the under eye, covers blemishes, corrects discoloration, contours, and bakes, obviously depending on what shades you're using for what. Has a Hydra Boost complex that's supposed to prevent creasing and it's supposed to be hydrating. So that's pretty much everything on the Kat Von D. Let's read about the LA Girl. LA Girl says it's a crease resistant, opaque coverage, creamy yet lightweight texture. Long wearing formula camouflages darkness under the eyes, redness, skin imperfections. Provides complete natural looking coverage, even skin tones, covers dark circles, and minimizes fine lines around the eyes. So nothing too crazy, pretty much both sound like a standard concealer basically. Typically in the past, Kat Von D products feel very heavy on my skin. I am gonna be doing a whole review on the Lock It Tattoo Foundation coming soon because tons of you guys always ask about that foundation. We'll probably do that for a foundation Friday. I've only used this concealer one time and I haven't used this one at all. In the way that I'm using these today, it is the first impression. I've never mixed this one with foundation, haven't touched this one at all, so here we go. If you like this video at any point while you're watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna leave my pale skin playlist down below if you want to learn more about the products that I use for pale skin, what works for me, what doesn't. Let's jump into the video. All right, so I just filmed the how I did my makeup in high school video, hence why I have eyeliner still stuck on my eyeballs that I can't get off. That video will be up before this video, so if you missed that, I will link it down below. So I've already primed my face using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer. You guys know if you're a pale princess or if you just have foundation that's a little bit too dark for you that you want to still be able to use, I'm all about foundation mixers. Manic Panic Dream Tone is one of my favorite. But if you have a white concealer, you can also mix that in with your foundation. So it'll just give it a little bit more coverage. Since concealers do have more of a concealer formula, they're a little bit thicker typically and they have coverage. So I'd probably typically choose a concealer over a foundation mixer only if I have a super liquidy foundation formula. So today I'm using the Garnier BB Cream. This is the combo to oily skin one. The normal one is horrible, but the combo to oily skin one is actually pretty good. This is in the shade light to medium, but it is way dark. Back in the day when I first started my YouTube channel, I used to use this when I would like self tan because it is super dark, but I feel like it'll be a good formula to try out with these concealers. So let's do Kat Von D on this side of my face and LA Girl on this side of my face. Shaking this stuff really good. You can hear how liquidy it is. I'm just putting out a little bit since this is only for half, <gasps> half my face. So I'm just gonna start with about this amount of concealer to foundation. You can see the foundation already running, so it's definitely lightening it. These two formulas seem to be mixing well together. So now I'm just gonna take that and apply on the face. Shade-wise, I think that's pretty good. Even if you're not pale, but you have a hard time finding foundations that match you perfectly, you can mix in any kind of 
concealer. Light Girl does make a yellow concealer, I believe. So if you have more yellow toned skin and it's hard to find foundations that have a yellow undertone to them, try mixing in a little bit of a yellow concealer. This BB cream is super dewy, so this concealer is definitely mattifying it. And I feel like it doesn't look quite as skin-like. So here's one side. Now I'm going to take the same foundation and mix in a little bit of the LA Girl. People love the formula of this concealer. I've never been able to use this concealer because it is too dark. So I have a feeling that this will mix well with foundations. It comes with this little brush applicator, but I'm just gonna see if I can pop that off because I'm not that into this. And it just has a little squeezy tube. I'm gonna start with about that much. It looks like less than the Kat Von D since that one I had to like push onto the palette, but this is about the same amount of product. Off the bat with my finger, I can tell that this is a lot more, not liquidy, but it's just not quite as thick as the Kat Von D. Same thing on this side. Ooh. Yeah, definitely more dewy. We're getting a really nice satin finish on this side. I'm someone who prefers more satin dewy finish. I think it just makes your skin look more like skin. But if you like matte, you might like the Kat Von D one a little bit better. This one is going a lot farther. Like I've only used half the amount of product out on the palette right now and I've covered my entire half of my face. Coverage and finish wise, I'm definitely preferring this side right now. So Kat Von D, LA Girl, I am definitely feeling this side. I don't think this one looks bad. I just feel like we didn't get quite as good of coverage. You can still see some acne and stuff coming through and this one just looks a little bit more flawless finish wise and coverage wise. So the concealer I'm going to be mixing today is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain. I've never actually been able to wear this because it is way too dark for me. People say this shade is light but this has never worked on me. It's super dark. So we get to lighten it today. Heck yeah. So on this side I'm going to stick with Kat Von D, this side LA Girl. And I think I'm actually going to apply the white down first then put a little of the concealer and then blend it out with the brush on my face. You could mix it first on a palette if you want to, but I think this way will work fine. Kat Von D. And it, her consistency just feels very heavy to me. I'm gonna mix it with my brush that I usually use, the Morphe G38. I feel like I might have just put a ton of concealer on, we'll find out. Yeah, I'm gonna use my finger just to get some of that off. It's drying super, super fast. It feels like it just totally dried in about 10 seconds. I'm gonna do an up close side by side once this eye is on, but look at how much of a difference concealer makes. It's insane, just like lifts your whole face. Since I just took off the brush applicator, I guess we would pop it back on. Maybe not, I think I broke it. I'm just gonna use my finger to put down some white. Yeah, the formula of this is so much creamier. I feel like with this brush applicator, you just can't really control how much product you're putting out just kind of like glops all over the place. It's setting pretty quickly too, but not as fast as the Kat Von D at all. I think this one looks a tiny bit lighter, so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more white right in the inner portion. I feel like I'm always hearing that this concealer is like super full coverage, the LA Girl, and on me it doesn't look as full coverage as the Urban Decay Naked or the Tarte Shape Tape. It's brightening because of the white, but coverage wise, yeah, I'm not on either side actually. I don't think I'm getting as good of coverage as I usually do. For under the eyes, I think I actually like the Kat Von D better. I feel like it's kind of setting better. I also just think I got a tiny bit better coverage on this side. I'm gonna show you guys a close up right now. So obviously this is without a setting powder right now. I think both sides look totally fine, but I do prefer the Kat Von D on this side. This eyeliner is intense. My pores on this side, I just noticed look quite large. You see them on this side too, but not as much. Yeah, look at that right there. My pores look pretty giant. This side, you can see them around here a little bit, but just not as much. I'm gonna set the eyes using my Holy Grail Physicians formula. This is the translucent light correcting powder. Awesome if you have pale skin. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe E7. To set my whole face today, I'm gonna use It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. Love this powder. I'm just gonna set the sides of my face. I don't wanna set the center because 
I think it makes it look more like skin when the center of my face is kind of dewy. So I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so the rest of my makeup is on. I totally forgot that this BB cream oxidizes like super fast. So I probably could have mixed in a little bit more lightener. I'm looking pretty tan right now, but that's okay. So as far as how the two sides look right now, even though my pores look bigger on this side, it is sitting a lot nicer around the crease of my nose. This one looks like it's already starting to cake up a little bit around my nose. This one just looks very smooth around there. This side of my face, I definitely think looks better. It looks a little bit heavier and is clinging to some like dry patches down here. It doesn't look bad. Neither side looks bad, but right now I am favoring this side a little bit more, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. On the rest of my face, I used other stuff that I got from iKate House for a dollar. This blush is in the shade Amuse. This was a dollar blush. I really like the color of this, but it smells like straight up grandma slash perfume. Whoa, it's intense. The contour, I really like this contour shade I use is a mix of these two. And this is from the City Color Contour Palette On The Go. I also use this on my eyes. I use this shade in the crease. Also got this from my Kate House. This is another giant contour palette. I haven't tried these as a contour yet, but I use this white shimmery shade as a highlight right now. I think it's okay. It emphasizes my texture a little bit, but not bad. And then lips is ColourPop She Bad with Fairy Floss Gloss Over Top. So it is 12.30 right now, 12.32. I'm gonna keep this on for the rest of the day and I will check back in with you guys at the end of the night. I'm gonna go watch a football game, hang out, do some editing. It's Saturday right now when I'm filming this. I'm just gonna do one check-in at the end of the night so you guys can see how it wears throughout the day. All right, so it's now 10.30 p.m. So it's been on for about 11-ish hours. Overall, I'm actually surprised at how similarly both sides wore. I actually have almost no creasing on my upper lip, which is pretty rare. The Kat Von D side of my nose is definitely more creasy than this side. Both of them have creasing right now, but this one has less creasing. I feel like this one is pretty intense. My forehead for sure looks a little oily. I think next time if I were to wear the same combo, I would set my entire forehead with the powder, but both sides look about the same. I do still like the way that this side of my face looks compared to this side. This one looks a little bit patchy. This one just looks a little bit more flawless. But for the price, whether you're gonna be mixing it in with a foundation or just wearing it under your eyes alone or mixing it in with a concealer, I would say go with the LA Girl for three bucks. You might as well try this out. If you don't like it, try the Kat Von D one, but I think this one is actually nicer formula-wise. The formula of this is just pretty heavy and a little bit thicker. This one feels a lot more blendable, creamier. I just overall like the formula of this one a little bit better. And for three bucks versus 26, you can't go wrong. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I am going to go wash all this off and go to bed. I'm freaking tired. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.